Okay, I just want to do a quick video of uh, my opinion since my son's been playing uh, baseball since basically Little League, but uh, I want to start from high school level uh, where the BB core bats start. And um, so the first bat he had was the goods and it served him very well. You know, hit a few home runs with it and so forth. Uh, it's a little heavier, so uh, I would recommend that you don't get too long of a bat or they may have to choke up. Um, for a faster pitcher. It's a bit heavy, but the heaviness propels the ball far. Uh, some people have had quality issues with it where the barrel, uh, where the uh, handle collapses into the barrel. And Goods is a decent bat, very good bat, but careful of those quality issues. If you hit it the wrong way, that handle could collapse into the barrel and that's, you know, $400 or whatever. Um, so the next bat that uh, we have here is the Icon. And uh, I noticed that I just got this, but it was $500. So I waited and this, we got a coupon of 20% off. So we ended up getting it for 400. It was like $425 after the coupon and, you know, taxes. And I was really reluctant to buy it for 500, but I noticed when he hit with it, um, he catches the barrel more. So he's in college now and you'll catch the barrel just a little bit slightly more uh, than the bone saber but it's a little bit heavier lighter than the goods but heavier than the bone saber and um, very good uh, exit velocity on it so a, a really good bat um, but one thing that happened in high school starting with the goods is my son he got his hammock bone broke in his hand it's a little tiny bone that that knob rubs against so I wish I knew about it and I had the bone saber because we got this bone saber and this tater wood bat for the summer league with this flared handle here. And this flared handle uh, makes me like these two bats. They're my favorite. Now, my son already had ham at surgery, so the handle's not going to hurt him anymore. The knob's not going to hurt him anymore with the icon. Um, but if your kid starts hit, swinging very hard, when they swing lighter, it's no problem. Or if they choke up, it's no problem. If they start swinging very hard and feel any pain or rubbing against the palm of their hand up near the pinky end of the hand because of that knob, you should instantly switch them. And why not just get the bone saver in the first place? Because you will protect the hammock bone. If you have real thick hands or you're choking up, you're fine. But most kids like to hold it near the knob. They like to use the full length of the bat. So I recommend... The first pick is the Tater, you know, for Wood Bat League and the Bone Saber for BB Core. Bone Saber is awesome. It's balanced. It's lighter, slightly less barrel than the, than the Icon and maybe the Goods. A little bit less uh, barrel um, catches the ball, but it's so little, it's, it's, it's still worth it because the control you have with the balance of the bat is great. And this is a Tater Bat. This company is in Cheshire, Connecticut now. I recommend getting the flare bat. And I like the different colors because it also, since not many people have these bats or these colors, it kinda makes me aware that he's up to bat and uh, you know, maybe he'll catch the coach's attention when he has a good hit as well. So that could be a good thing. So my first recommendation is to get this flared handle uh, if, you're, if your player starts swinging very strong because they could be looking at potential hammock bone. It's a tiny bone in the pot and the palm of the hand towards the uh, uh, where the pinky is but way down near the wrist and it can break when these knobs start rubbing against it very hard and fast so to save yourself a surgery like he, my son had to have and so many baseball and and uh, now I, I know college players I didn't even know much about it until he got it that a lot of players get it in college but this will avoid that these flared handles I mean it, it still could happen but it's very doubtful because they kind of just smooth out and protect it and i know there's other kinds of bats with hooks and one side slanted but i like this because they can roll the bat to any side and no matter which way they aim it it's flared away and protecting the hand and a little bit faster swing on the bone saver than the other two bats and the icon um haven't tested it new yet we tested used ones but uh Supposedly, it has very nice pop from the beginning when you start using it. So, that's my recommendation. Um, if you wanted to get the goods,
just be careful of your hammock bone, <laughs> swinging it, rubbing against that bone. But my first two recommendations are the Bone Saber. They have this in black and they have another red uh, color that's really cool. Costs more though, it's a design. And the Tater Bat out of Cheshire. Tater Bats in Cheshire, you could order them online. Those are my first recommendations. And these other two bats are just phenomenal. They're really good, they hit good and hard. They can hit big line drives and home runs with them. Uh, they're just a slight bit heavier. So either get a smaller in inches or um, choke up on them if they want to uh, make them last a couple of years. And um, the goods bat is pretty much probably dead right now because he's used it already you know, a few years and he uses that for practice. And luckily we haven't had the quality issue. The handle has not collapsed into the barrel. So we got one of the lucky ones. I guess we got one of the good ones or he just hasn't slammed it against the ground a certain way where it would break it. So Bone Saber first um, and Goods and Icon second. Supposedly the Icon is, has a little more pop. Uh, the Goods is a little heavier though. So if you catch it right, it could propel the ball a little further. Um, that's kind of my um, su summary on it. And uh, for the Tater Bat, we got a little bit of a thicker uh, grip and handle. And it, it actually bends a little less, but it'll, it'll actually help it to not break because um, he has broken quite a few wood bats already. So we've got just a little slight thicker handle and the tapered flared end like that. Any other bat that comes out with that flared end, I would recommend trying it and seeing how it is but the bone saber has a really nice sound really nice pop i do believe it is the number one bat um and icon's a close second if the price was you know closer we got it for 20 bucks more than the bone saber so got lucky with the sale um the bone saber just really nicely balanced so i hope this helps have a wonderful day